What's up guys, today I'm going to be talking about the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad and their lack of privacy when it comes to applications. There has been many reports by websites such as CNN and many other tech blogs saying that the iPhone is lacking security and basically by this I mean that when you download applications, some applications are taking your contact information from your iPhone, even your name, your location, and everything like that without your permission. We know there is some applications such as Facebook book that actually ask you hey can I take your contacts and send them an email or text message but there is also applications such as path and Twitter that just take your contact information your name your location and everything like that without your permission so this is a big problem so I'm gonna show you how to fix it so there is a jailbreak application that came out after all this tech news came out about the iPhone having a lack of privacy. It is called Protect My Privacy. It is on the Big Boss repo for free. And it's going to put an application on your device and you're going to be able to set it up and you're going to um, be able to tell them what type of information you want to share with applications. So when you open an application such as Facebook or Twitter, it's going to ask you, hey, do you want me to share this info with the application? And if you if you click allow, it's going to actually share all your info. If you click protect, it's going to share some fake info that you set up in the um, privacy application. And this is pretty cool because you're going to be able to choose what information you want to share and what information you don't. So this includes stuff like your location, your name, your contacts, and etc. So if we move on over to the application, it is called PMP, Protect My Privacy. If we go into the settings, we can click Identifier, and this will create a fake name for yourself. If you don't want the application to know your real name for whatever reason, you'll generate a code, and behind the code is a disguised name. And we could also do location. If you don't want them to know your location for whatever reason, then you're going to be able to pick a location wherever in the world. For example, I live in Michigan, but I'm going to choose somewhere else, say Kentucky. And an app like Twitter will link, I live in Kentucky now. And there is replacement contacts. If you don't want um, applications to know your contacts and take your contacts, it will fill the contacts with a bunch of replacement contacts so it doesn't um, actually take your real contacts. So that is about all for the protect my privacy information. So let's go test this out with an application called Path which actually has a major breach in privacy. It would take your contacts from your contact list without you knowing and it would upload it to their database. If they were to get hacked or they sold their database in the future for money, then your friends and you would be in a major breach of privacy. So let's go here and you'll see here it says allow and protect. If I were to click allow, it would take all my privacy info. If I click protect, then it would actually protect my information. It will upload fake information such as a fake location, my fake name, my fake contacts, and everything like that. And if you wanted to actually share your real name or you wanted to share your real contacts or whatever you want, you could actually go back into the settings and you could select that. So let's go ahead and we'll click protect. And if we back on out and go back into the privacy settings again, we're going to be able to set custom settings for each application. So if I click on path right now, it's going to open up. It's going to tell me which settings are being protected. And my identifier is, so basically it doesn't know my real name. If I clicked on for location, it will put in the fake location. So we'll think I'm in Kansas like I selected before. And if I selected contacts, it's going to set in fake contacts. And down at the bottom, there is reset settings. You can basically reset reset all the settings and when path opens up again it'll ask you again for your um, contact info and everything such as that so anyways guys tell me what you think about protect my privacy in the comments below and remember to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one